Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. A couple years back we checked out a group on Creator Request called Mission Jupiter. It was a really nice combination of some synthier ambient style stuff with a bit of a rock flair to it. And I enjoyed it enough that I went and checked out uh, their album, which I had come off of called Talk To Me. Recently, they emailed me and asked me to do a reaction slash analysis of the album closer for the album called Jupiter's Master. And I figured it's been a couple of years since I listened to it. I don't really remember it. It's worth diving back into. So that's what we're going to check out today. Jupiter's Master from... Mission Jupiter. Let's dive in and see what they have in store for us today. I oh, love this section. It's this bubbling energy at the bottom just waiting, waiting to explode out. Beautiful guitar line. Coming in on those off beats, creating some syncopation. Yeah, shifting over to a seven with those heavy distorted guitars. Warm pads in the back, filling out the sounds. Lots of diversity and timbre here. Some of these ideas don't necessarily have uh, good transitions. We just sort of do one and then the next. We had some nice call and response bouncing back and forth between concepts. 
We had some nice fluid movement, but this was a very harsh stop into this midpoint. Nice. I love the synth wave sound on our synthesizer there. Bring a very 80s vibe to this heavier rock thing going on with the rest of the group. A really big tone with the bass and electric guitar working together. This guitar line is similar to something the synthesizer was doing a few sections back. Interesting ending. Well, interesting transition to the outro. The guitar was building up all that intensity, but didn't end on a higher note where the energy was directing it, ended on a lower note. Yeah, very interesting right there. Coming in with that heavy lower note, lots of uh, power behind it on the keys, that emphasized uh, tension, dissonance, instability harmonically, so that the next three notes could have this really strong sense of resolution, but the bass note that was sitting under this entire line sort of still stuck with that irresolution. And so the melody resolved, but the chord progression underneath didn't. Interesting. And that mixed with the transition into that outro about uh, sort of lost potential there. As I mentioned, the guitar was building all this intensity, all this energy, and instead of finishing it off on a high note, we finish it off pretty much exactly an octave below where I thought it was going to stop. And that's what made the transition feel a little awkward to me. I was like, oh, that's a strange place to end the song. And then I corrected myself, you know, a strange place to transition. 
I just didn't hear the song going that direction. I think it's, at the moment, it was sort of wild to hear this uh, undercut of expectations, but then even the end of the song sort of undercuts expectations as well. It feels like a track about, uh, maybe not defeat necessarily, but uh, disappointment. Not getting the upper hand, something along those lines. Both of those moments at the end of the track certainly lean into that. Nothing is as resolute as it was expected to be. Now the rest of the track though, well even the ending, they're all <clears throat> beautiful. There's lots of really great ideas in here. I love the melody writing, whether it's coming from a synthesizer, a synthesizer, vocals, guitar, piano. Uh, what am I missing here? I, don't know, I guess it's all of them, huh? Yeah, seems seems like a small list for some reason. Anyways, the melody is always great. I feel like there's always a forward direction to it. It's it has an objective in mind, and it's taking a route to get there. And sometimes that route has more hurdles, such as with the guitar solo in that penultimate section, um, going through quite a few different ideas, or it's something a little bit more direct, like the slower moving, longer held out notes in the vocal melody around like four and a half, five minutes into the song. There's a variety of ways that the melody is written, but it's always designed with an end point in mind. And I love that. It's Nothing ever feels like filler as far as the melody is concerned. I don't feel like any time a, a melodic instrument comes in to take a lead line that it's there to fill space. And I don't feel like any moment within the solos, within these lead melodies, are designed just to kill time either. Everything feels meticulously crafted. And between the excellent melody writing and the variety of styles of melody writing we have in here, I'm really blown away by just the way that they craft a strong little melody. I also enjoyed the way that they craft atmosphere, and I think this is probably the big point to the track. There are seven sections in here, give or take, all with their own vibe, atmosphere, general sound. They all utilize the same sets of instruments, but we get different timbres from them, especially since we have the electric guitar and the synthesizer, which can both embody a ton of different sounds. We do get some uh, timbre variety going on. Um, and so the sections do end up feeling quite a bit unique. There's also a lot of ornamental concepts going on, and the instruments always don't always take the same roles from place or from section to section. Sometimes the guitar will be ornamental one time, sometimes it'll be atmospheric, sometimes it'll be chordal, sometimes it'll be lead. I love that playfulness allowing oh saxophone! I knew I was missing a melodic instrument. And uh it's neat to hear the trade-offs. Some instruments do stick to what they do. The bass, pretty much always foundational in here. The drums, pretty much always rhythmic. Um, but it does allow the sound to develop in a variety of different ways that helps embellish on the different atmospheres they're going for and the different stories they're trying to tell and the various timbres they have. It's just another layer of... It's another aspect of the tracks that they can create variety within to keep the song sounding unique from moment to moment. <laughs> now unfortunately, the moments don't all click for me, at least as a whole. I like each one individually. I have a, I struggle a little bit trying to hear this song as a cohesive uh, track rather than a series of individual isolated sections. Maybe that's just me. There's certainly a progressive element to this track, and both classical progressive rock and modern progressive rock are very big on harsh transitions. Both of them have, especially classic progressive rock, has absolutely no issue with just stopping abruptly and doing something totally different. 
and it's something that's developed even outside of the progressive spheres into modern mainstream rock and metal as well. So it's not like it's completely absurd that the song does it, but it makes it difficult for me to understand the song as a cohesive whole. My brain wants to chop it up into the different sections. And we do start off the song with some nice transitions. The first two or three sections uh, move smoothly between each other. I thought this was a really great indication for the, where the song was going. But right before we had the point where the clean vocals... Well, the only the vocals came in to take melody. This was around like four minutes, I guess. Um, we had a very hard stop. The song just sort of dissipates, it ends, and then this new idea slowly fades in. That didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Maybe if I understood what the story of this song was to the band, I might be able to make heads and tails of heads or tails of what's going on here. But at that moment, it just felt like a, a strange place to stop the song and start something brand new. I was also trying to find something that would tie all of this together, maybe some sort of motif or theme that was present. There was one guitar lick that I recognized from earlier in the track, and I thought I heard a variation of something a piano was doing later on on a guitar, but for the most part, each of the sections feels distinctly unique against the other parts of the track. Now, something tells me this is a concept album, and I don't... Maybe I knew that when I listened to the album. Maybe it's just something I'm picking up on now for some reason. I don't know. But it's quite possible that if I knew the lyrics for even just the couple of tracks that came before it, this instrumental might make a bit more sense knowing where a story was going. But on its own, I'm left simply enjoying a lot of the moments. Not really understanding how they fit together, but not really being upset that these are all presented to me in this collection either. Sort of like a jar of candies. M&M's, maybe. And no, we'll go with Skittles, because at least they have different flavors. M&M's are all the same. It doesn't make sense sometimes that lime is next to grape, is next to strawberry, because those flavors kind of don't really go together very well. I don't know if you've ever just tossed back a whole handful of Skittles, but that's not the greatest experience. But at the same time, it's nice to have these flavors all back to back, maybe. Not all at the same time, but I don't know. This metaphor kind of fell apart a little bit. What I'm saying is I enjoyed this collection of sounds. Uh, this this uh, series of ideas that were presented to me, I liked them all. And I'm not going to say that I dislike the song because I don't get it of why they're put together. But I do know that I enjoy it and appreciate it just a hair bit less because I can't quite figure out what it all says together. But that is definitely a skill issue. That is me. I'm not going to put that on the song or the band. And I'm sure with just a little bit of explanation, my opinion of this track could take it a 180 very easily uh, once I begin to understand the thoughts or intent that went into it. So, those are my thoughts. Mission Jupiter, Jupiter's Master. What do you think of this track? Was there anything that stood out to you? Anything that you would like to present your opinion on or give me your perspective or thoughts about? Toss that stuff in the comment section. In the description box, you'll find some links for my stuff, including the link tree where you can find links to my music, ways to support the channel, a link to the Discord server. I'm also going to put links for Jupiter's, uh, for Mission Jupiter in there if you'd like to listen to their music, which I highly recommend it. This album was fantastic, even if I don't remember all the details of it. I mean, it was two years ago. All right, cut me some slack. I do remember enjoying it quite a bit, and I do have some notes in my listen list spreadsheet thing uh, where I gave it a thumbs up after listening to it and had some positive notes regarding it. It is a great track. Also, I vaguely remember them doing a series of videos that were in like black and white, I think. And they were like stripped down 
versions of the I don't remember. I just I really remember liking those. I gotta go find those. If I find them, I'm gonna put them in the description. You guys can check that out too. Um, I'm probably just gonna go relive that whole set of maybe it was one one video and it was a series of like a live concert or something i don't remember i gotta go figure it out if i find it though i'll put it in the description for y'all as well as their streaming platform so you can go and listen to their music all right like subscribe ring the bell that stuff's above the description box all right oh yeah yeah, yeah. i'll be back tomorrow 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC. As usual, we're going to continue on with this week's theme and listen to some special selections. Until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical, of the music you listen to and have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos. Mm -hmm.